Alright guys, so I had a different video that I was going to make, but it was on a makeup, er, the, the words. It was a makeup tutorial on this look that I'm wearing right now, and the entire thing was out of frame and out of focus, so I didn't want to take all my makeup off and re-film it, so we're going to do a tag video instead, and that will hopefully come up, or, and that tutorial will be in the next few days. I was so frustrated when I sat down to it. I was like, really? How did I not notice the entire time I was filming it that I was completely out of frame? So anyway, I got tagged by Miss, uh, what's her, who is it? Her name's Misty, but I don't know, La Vida Bella. She tagged me to, at least I'm pretty sure it's Misty. I swear it is. I could be really wrong. I'm not very good with people's real names if it's not their YouTube name. Anyway, she tagged me to do the YouTube interview tag, and I think this one is really fun. It was really cute to watch hers. There are 20 questions, so we'll just jump right in. And they're on my phone, so if I'm looking down, that's why. So the first question is, how did you feel to make your when you made your first YouTube video? I was incredibly nervous. Um, I was sweating and my heart was pounding and I was like shaking. I was so, so nervous. I filmed it on my laptop on the webcam, so it's terrible, terrible quality. But I knew if I took the time to film it on my big, nice DSLR, um, I would never put it up because I would have had to sit down and watch it a million times and edit it and whatever. And it was like a two minute video, I swear, well it was probably longer than that, but I was really scared. Um, did you show anyone your first video before you uploaded it? No, I did not. I just uploaded it. I posted the link on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and I texted it to my mom. She was the only person that I texted it to. I didn't show my dad. I was really nervous, not nervous, but I just didn't think that he would like be interested at all. I like emailed it to my grandparents and then e they emailed it to him and they were like, how did you not know? And my dad was like, did you purposely not tell me? He w I think he was like really hurt, not like mad, but he was like hurt that I didn't tell him. I just really didn't think he was gonna care because it was like makeup. Who's but he watches all my videos every time. So good job, dad. <laughs> Do your friends and family know about your channel? Yes, everybody does. Um, all my family does, they all watch it, they all are really supportive. The I don't like tell people in like in Nebraska, I don't like tell people that I know like face to face. I don't really talk about it with anybody just because I think it's weird. I never talk about it in person except for with my husband or my mom. <laughs> so there's that. Are your friends or family subscribed to your channel? I'm pretty sure that they all are. Um, I don't I know my mom and my dad are. I don't know if my sister is, so Sam, I'm giving you the eye. My husband is, I think, but yeah, I think they all are, but I'm not sure. Um, do you, I lost count, sorry. Do you think, did anyone think you were crazy for being a YouTuber? I'm sure people did, but nobody told me. Nobody came, like, was in my face about it. Nobody said anything other than my husband. He thought it was a little weird. He didn't understand it. I don't think he still, I don't think he still does. Um, I don't think he really cares, though. So, no, nobody told me that I was crazy, but I'm sure there people are, but I don't really care. Everyone's been nice to my face about it. You can't control what people say behind your back. How and why did you choose your YouTube channel name? It's my name. That's my married name. It's just my name. I thought I would, I mean, I don't know any other Alex Orvins, so I just used my name. What have you gained from being a YouTuber? Um, I've met, not like in bet, but I've like online, I've met some more people. Um, I have gained a lot of confidence. Uh, it's fun. I just think it's fun. That's probably the most the thing that I've gained the most is just something constructive to do that is just a lot of fun. Like, it's so fun. How many times can I say that? <laughs> I haven't... It's just, I... I don't know. I don't know what else. Are you interested in doing giveaways? Maybe. I mean, I have, like, I have... I just hit 50 subscribers, so I was so excited about that. That was yesterday. So, or the day before, I was really excited, 
But I mean, I'm such a small channel that I really don't think that, and I don't get a whole lot of comments or anything like that. I don't get a whole lot of views. So right now, no, not at all. Maybe if I was a bigger channel, then for sure. But I really, I mean, I'm a tiny, tiny channel, so probably not right now. Do you allow subscribers to send you gifts? I've noticed that several people allow this, and boy, do they get sent a lot. Um, no, I don't right now because most of them are my family. So, I mean, they send me stuff on my birthday, but I don't really, I don't, I mean, maybe if I was a big, again, like if I was a bigger channel, then maybe, but since I'm so small, it's not that big of a, like why? I don't, I don't see the point right now. So maybe if I was a bigger channel and I had like a real following right now, I don't. Um, how do your kids feel about be their mom being on YouTube? Well, I don't have children. I have dogs um, and a cat who is sitting underneath my tripod right now because that's the only patch of sun. And I don't think that they care. I mean, obviously she doesn't care, but I don't think they care. <laughs> They're dogs and a cat. How do you choose your topics? Um, I just make videos on whatever I want to film that day, basically. Like if I want to do a food video, I'll do a food video. If I want to do one on makeup, I do it on makeup. If I want to do it on tags, I'll do a tag. I don't, it just whatever I feel like sitting down and doing, that's what I do. And I watch other people's videos and if I like their videos, I kind of get inspired from them to do something like that. But that's just how I do it. Whatever pops into my head. Um, would you consider collaborating with others to make videos? I would totally love to do collaborations with other people. I think it would be so awesome. I don't know anybody that lives in my area that makes videos. I don't even know anyone in my city that makes videos. So probably not going to happen. But I would love to do it. I think it would be so much fun. Other than makeup and fashion, what do you like to watch on YouTube? I like to watch day in the life videos. I love to watch the cake baking videos or like cookie decorating videos uh what it is about those i can't bake cakes or decorate them or cookies to save my life but i really like to watch them and i want to learn how to do it but cake decorating stuff is expensive so i don't got money to just throw into like a little hobby or something i don't know but i have but i'd rather i mean if it's between that or spending money on like nicer youtube stuff i'd probably put youtube into it because i like that a lot more but anyway I like those videos. I like the Shaytards. I think they're cute. I think they're a lot of fun. They live um, in Idaho and I'm from Utah, but they go to Salt Lake City all the time, which is where my husband and I are from. So it's just kind of nice to like see somebody in your hometown. Um, but yeah, I just, I like Candid Mommy. She's really cute. I love her little boys. They're so cute. I love her videos. Um, have you ever uploaded the wrong video? No, I have not ever uploaded the wrong video. I edit, upload, and, or I film, edit, and upload all in the same day. So it's kind of hard to upload the wrong video. Sometimes I pre-record, but not very often. Usually if I pre-record, I end up not edit and uploading that video because sometimes it doesn't turn out very well. I don't know why, but I don't know. Sometimes I just don't. Um, what do you prefer? prefer, filming alone or filming with others in the room? filming alone for sure. I do not like when my husband, my husband is literally in the next room because that is our bedroom and I'm pretty positive he can hear me and it makes me really uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't like it. It's, it's not fun. I know it's weird because he like sits there and laughs at me. Like I can hear him giggling in the background at me talking to it myself. So as if I was talking to someone, but yeah, but I don't like filming with people in the room. Um, you don't have to give names, but there are any YouTubers that just irk you. If so, what about them irks you? Yes, there are. Um, they're kind of bigger YouTubers. Well, they're like really big YouTubers that I don't really like. So I just don't watch them. And I think they're just annoying. So I just don't watch them. I don't have anything like negative to say because I don't watch them. I'm not going to call them out or anything because I'm pretty sure like if you don't like somebody's channel, just don't watch them. Don't be posting hate on their stuff. Don't just don't even give them the time of day. Just don't watch them. What's some general advice you would give to someone wanting to start a channel to just do it and be self be have self confidence and be able to have a conversation with yourself because that's what you do a lot of the times you're sitting in a room alone. 
and don't be like nervous or scared and t like speak loudly that was kind of my problem when I first started I like talked really quiet and soft because I was nervous but now I'm a little bit more confident about it what have you thought about transition have you ever thought about transitioning from YouTube to your own website no not at all um I have no intentions of doing that I don't really want to I'm not very good at writing I am not very, the written word is not my form of communication. I am way better at sitting down and having a conversation one-on-one -on -one with people and having, I'm better at expressing myself and having a personality like that than I am in writing. Um, what are opportunities, what are some opportunities that you've gotten because of YouTube? None, really. I have been doing this for two months, so nothing really. Um, I've had some more, I, my social media has kind of gotten bigger. Um, I've had some companies follow me on Instagram and on Twitter, but other than that, nothing really. And then the last question, when you first started, how did you get the word out that you were making videos? Did you just upload and hope for the best, or did you connect with fellow YouTubers? What I did was I posted the link on Facebook every time I upload a video, every single time. I post the link on Facebook, I post it on Twitter, and I send it to the, a couple, um, what are they called? Like, other people on Twitter, I guess, and then they retweet my videos. There's a couple accounts that do that for you. And then I take a screenshot or I take the thumbnail picture and then I post that on Instagram. And then in my link or in my bio, I post a link to that video or to my channel. That's kind of what I do. It helps me, you know, get the word out a little bit, but I never just uploaded. There's one video that I just uploaded it and I let it go. I didn't post it anywhere else because it was my bullying video and I just wasn't really I didn't want there was a lot of people that I go to high school that are on my social media and I didn't want to call anyone out like that so if people wanted to watch it they could find it but other than that I just didn't so anyway my camera is about to die so I'm talking really fast because I'm really nervous I don't want it to die on me but thank you guys so much for watching and sharing and subscribing and all that stuff and I hope you have an amazing week and I hope this video was kind of fun for you guys Ooh, my camera stopped recording, but I will have a tutorial up soon, and I hope that you have an amazing week. Bye!